Hey tribe, welcome back to the weekend reading with Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. All right, so all signs, all placements, weekend energy. Um, it feels like for a lot of you guys, something about this weekend is bringing forth the opportunity to celebrate, okay? Um, you could have something that you're celebrating, uh, especially if it's like your birthday, okay? Or if you're a friend with the Libra sun sign. Um, or for others of you guys, it feels very, um, it's impulsive. So maybe you weren't planning on doing something or maybe... I don't know, you weren't really in a mood to really go out or something like that, but it's really giving a like a oh well type of energy. Like I might as well just, you know, go out, have fun. So maybe you were like um, contemplating on going to a certain event or, you know, accepting an invitation or something like that. But it feels like you guys are just really um, any energy of trying to have a good time um, and release any worries that you have. Okay. And maybe this is, um, a confirmation or guidance for you to get out and have some fun. Cause some of you guys have been, you know, cooped up in the house or just so wrapped up in responsibilities, um, that you might be losing yourself a little bit. So, um, I feel like a lot of y'all need some fresh air. Five of cups and the seven of swords is showing up here. Yeah, it's almost like um something about like being in a dark space or, you know, emotionally or mentally judgment. And even if it's not you going out, I feel like there's something that you need to do to kind of like fight. Uh, somebody might be fighting like anxiety or depression, but there's something that you need to do to fight those low vibrations. OK, so two songs that I got for the collective. Uh, the first one was Cuff It by Beyonce. And that's the song that really gave me that energy for you guys. Um and then the second one was by Ella May. Um, and I think it's called, let me see. It's something about like I keep going back or something about her keep going back to a particular person. So let me see you guys. Um, but it was really giving temptation. Give me one second. I'll put the song um, in the in the comments or the description box below because I can't remember the name of the song, but it was really giving the energy. Oh, I think it was something about like being a fool for you. That's what the name of it was. And it was something about, um, I don't know. I feel like there's an influence in your life. This could be a friend, you know, this could be a lover, ex-lover, friends with benefits. And it feels like in regards to this person, I don't know. It kind of feels like maybe, you know, it might not be best for you or the situation of the person's not good for you, but you're just really not trying to like worry about tomorrow or worry about like the consequences of something or how um, people may view you. Okay. Or how you view yourself. It's kind of like you're loosening up in regards to some sort of um, restrictions that you have on yourself. So not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I kind of want to say not necessarily a good thing, but it just depends on how you go about it. So let's see. We're going to start off the reading with the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. Um, move on to the Energy Oracle deck and then the Tarot for you guys for extra messages. If you have not already, please like the video, comment, I comment back, share, and of course subscribe. The more you interact with the content on the channel, the more it actually puts your energy into these messages and I can better pick up on what's going on with you. So let's see, clarity confirmation spirit for the collective this weekend. What's the vibe looking like? All right, so we have mirror card number four. It says, treat your body like the palace it is. So it's something about celebrating, okay, celebrating yourself or the need to celebrate yourself, the need to kind of, um, to have some fun. And I feel like you guys are doing that, okay? You could also be pampering yourself um, this weekend, just really taking care of yourself mentally, spiritually, emotionally. It really feels like on an emotional level, you're just kind of doing what makes you happy. And you don't really care, you know, what that looks like to the old you or what that looks like to, you know, anybody else outside of you. So good energy. Um, at the bottom, we have card number 12. It says expectations. Don't seek anyone's approval. Exactly. Exactly what I just said. Okay. So I feel like you're not like, you don't care. You're not trying to please anybody. You're not seeking anyone's approval. Someone may have, you know, you might be out and someone sees you, or there's somebody in your energy that may have, you know, something to say, a lot to say about what you're doing, who you're with something. Right. 
Um, and it's like, you're not, whatever this is that you're doing this weekend, okay, that's the highlight of your weekend or you're focused on, you're not doing it for anyone else. That's the thing. You're doing it for yourself. So, um, keep that energy collective. Okay. Then we have card number nine. It says Phoenix. How's that for a happily ever after? So I feel like y'all are setting some shit off or you're ending something or like there's some sort of like big move, something here. Okay. You're shocking people or... Um, I don't know. You're taking something to your own hands. You're changing the narrative. It's like, I don't know. It's a very empowered energy this weekend. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the energy deck has to say. Door to value. I'm telling you, it's something about your self-value, your worth, whatever this is that you're doing this weekend is for you. Okay. The betterment of you taking care of you on whatever level that, you know, that is for you, but door to value man holding a heart. All right. We have yin, yang, magician in the mirror. I do feel like there is someone uh, for a lot of you guys that's trying to offer you something. So maybe you're going for it. Maybe you're taking this offer, especially if it's like, um, whether it's male or female, especially if it's like, um, yeah, somebody inviting you out, a friend or, you know, somebody new that you're meeting. It's something I feel like that you usually would not do. Um, but this weekend, it's just like, why not? I keep getting that energy. So somebody could be wanting to take you out, offer you something here. Um, or somebody is wanting to like, um, somebody is wanting to like make things easier for you. Okay. Take some sort of burden, worry, weight off your shoulders, um, help you relax, wine and dine you, or this is what you're doing in regards to someone else. Um, I know this weekend is a uh, sweetest day weekend for those of you who celebrate. So this could have something, um, to do with that as well. But let's see, let's see cornucopia. Okay. It's a lot of good vibes here or potential for something to make you very happy door to personal healing and happiness. Even if it is just you again, loving on yourself, being selfish, um, as necessary action, or just making decisions, a decision or just decisions, heart, um, the heart chakra that feel good to you. So let's see. I feel like you're going forward or you're pushing forward. Um, or this, it's just something here that's taken off. All right. And it could just be you, your energy. Healer of the ages popped out here. A lot of healing. Uh, Virgo energy could be significant appreciation. I'm trying to tell you. And a happy family. For some of you guys, this is you loving on yourself. For others of you guys, this is um, this is you loving on, on yourself, family, etc. But for others of you, there's like healing coming to a family dynamic or there's somebody that wants to heal a relationship with you. Okay. And even if it's like a friendship here, some sort of um, some sort of connection. Look at this. Karen Connections is at the bottom of the deck. So it's a lot of it's a lot of love in the air. Like you if you're meeting somebody you new, for some of you guys, you're going out and you're meeting this person. Um, others of you, you already know this person is just a good time, but I feel like there's been some sort of time and distance between you two, or maybe just, um, it's been a long time since you've went out with this individual, or it's just been a long time since you've had this much fun either by yourself or with this person. So Karen connections, let's see what else we have patience here. We have journey. Okay. Some of y'all, it's like, too, if you've been single or just not really interested in, like, doing anything, dating, mingling, going out with friends, like, that's changing this weekend. Or somebody's pulling you out the house. Somebody's pulling you out of that energy. Somebody is, you know, giving you that motivation to, like, want to do something again, okay? Whatever this is for you. Second chakra, and this is your wants and desires. And I feel like um, maybe something you've been waiting on is happening this weekend or, like, you've been, you've been holding yourself back. Um, and I feel like whatever this is that you're doing and you're focused on, it's like, it's creating a pathway for like some major transformation, major healing for you, um, or just like a major shift in energy and increase in energy. What's behind this? The sun card. Okay. So financial constraints moving into the sun card. So this is a lack a loss, emptiness on any level, any situation. And it's like, it's being replenished here. Okay. You could have Leo in your chart, uh, woman holding a heart here, contracts, um, and third chakra goddess of the moon. I feel like, I don't know. It's like, you would usually be hesitant um, but this weekend is, is something that's just different here. The energy is just, is just different in a very good way. So, um, or somebody's coming around completely different. Like it's a lot of, yeah, look at this. 
Okay, angel of love. It's a lot of like pouring energy. It's a lot of um, nurturing. It's a lot of touchy feely type energy showing up here. Okay, five of cups is at the bottom. The seven of wands. It's like if you somebody is not willing to allow you to like be sad um being a low vibration like something to get to you like somebody is wanting um or somebody is not allowing like a, a situation a connection to go sour somebody is definitely wanting to um to however they can like get you in a good energy keep you in a good energy the two of wands or get you out the house or like somebody just wants one shot one chance one opportunity for something with you and like they are really you know pulling on that energy they're really egging that on hoping for that trying to manifest that this weekend um but let's see clarity confirmation five of cups is five of cups keeps popping out okay so cancer pisces scorpio could be significant um but usually the five of cups is like you know kind of emotionally distraught or you could be trying to get over something or someone um or it's like it's been hard for you to let something go. And I feel like this weekend is is helping you to like just not worry. Okay. About a particular person or situation. Clarity confirmation for the collective this weekend. If you guys are interested in um, any bonus content, the link for Patreon is going to be in the description box below. It's an easy sign up. There are um, multiple tiers to meet everyone's spiritual needs. But yes, go ahead and check out the Patreon. Tell me, guys, tell me what you guys think. Um, also, feel free to like leave in the comments below if you have any ideas for like readings or extra bonus content, um, what you would like to see. Okay, so let's see. Clarity confirmation, Holy Spirit, this weekend. Let's see what comes out for y'all. For us, clarity, there we go. The Six of Cups. So this is like good times. This is nostalgic um, energy. This is this could be fantasizing, daydreaming, very childlike energy. Um, it could be past energy with the Six of Cups, but it's very homey, nurturing, welcoming. Um, getting a lot of Cancer energy, a lot of Water Sign energy here. So Six of Cups, but what's happening? The Queen of Pentacles, okay. Um, and then we have the hangman, so Pisces energy, and we have the Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Capricorn here too. Um, Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. For some of you guys, it's like you're in your head about something, right? And I, something is just snapping you out of it, or you are just like snapping yourself out of it. Um, it's like you're realizing who you are. You don't need to be hung up on a, a situation. Like you just don't need to be in this energy. That's really what I'm picking up on. Um, and for other, you could be missing someone. Okay. You could be missing like a mother figure or someone's missing you. You could be missing like your children. Okay. What's this will of fortune? It's the overall energy with this queen of pentacles. You could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your chart. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is very structured, very responsible, very successful, wife, mother, like has a lot of responsibilities. And I feel like a lot of you guys are in that energy, whether you're king, queen, or queen of pentacles. Um, but it's something about that that needs to, maybe you've been working too much, okay, that needs to change or is changing this weekend. Um, or somebody, I keep getting somebody wanting to help you out. What's the will of fortune? Or there's some sort of help that's coming towards you to help uh, like lighten some sort of um, responsibility or worry, okay? Lighten the low for you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. The page of wands is usually um, a message of good news, fire sign energy, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the eight of cups, okay? Hmm. And the seven of cups. Somebody is also like wanting to know if you're thinking, okay, so side note, like somebody is wanting to know if you're thinking about them or you're wanting to know if somebody still thinks about you, okay? So maybe there's some sort of reconciliation, um, but I feel like somebody is just like hitting you up randomly to see how you're doing or you're check you could be doing this for somebody. You're checking on somebody and you just, either they tell you or you just know intuitively like, you know, they need to talk to somebody or they need to get out or it's something here. Um, they need to have some fun. Okay, what's the Six of Cups? We got the Emperor at the bottom, Aries, Taurus. There's a masculine showing up here. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Eight of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Or somebody wants to like, 
somebody wants to message you, you might see somebody out, okay, and they want to say something to you, but they don't. This could be a new person or somebody that you know. Let's see. What's this Eight of Cups? Some of you guys could be hearing something about like a water sign. What's this Eight of Cups? The Tower, okay? Scorpio energy. The Two of Pentacles. Or you could be hearing some not, somebody's hearing like some not so good news. The Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands? Or something here, the Seven of Swords, the Lovers, the Eight of Swords. I feel like uh, the High Priestess, okay? For some of you guys, I feel like there's somebody that might be trying to cause... Somebody could be blowing you up, okay? Somebody could be trying to cause some sort of tower moment here. What's the Six of Cups? The Six of Swords, okay, double sixes. Could be significant for you. A Gemini could be significant. The Nine of Swords. Um, and the Queen of Swords. Or there's something about, like, someone... Uh, There's either somebody here that's going through something very heavy emotionally, right? Whatever this is, it could be a breakup for some of you guys. Um, and it's like, whatever is happening this weekend, it's like nipping it in the bud, putting it into that, okay? Are you mentally deciding to like not want to be in a, a specific situation anymore or not want to feel a, a certain way or not wanting to have certain thoughts, Somebody else is in their feelings, uh, for others of you guys, like there's somebody else that's in their feelings about you. Maybe you separated from this person. What's the Queen of Pentacles? What's the Queen of Pentacles? It's like it's, there's an end being put to some sort of misery here, okay? No matter how minor or big that is for you. What's the Queen of Pentacles? And it may result in you like um, distancing yourself from something that's very familiar. What's the Queen of Pentacles? All right, so I kind of feel like the storyline is taking a little bit of, of a plot twist, but not really, okay? Because I feel like it's still a need to celebrate, or even if you may not be feeling that right now, I feel like whatever's happening this weekend is going to set you up for um, a much more abundant energy. So maybe it's like the first steps to something here. Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Empress, okay? Libra Taurus energy showing up here. It's something about nurturing yourself, pouring into yourself, pampering yourself, okay? Putting your, prioritizing yourself. Let's see. What's the hangman? What's this hangman spirit? Clarity confirmation. The three of cups. Okay. The high, all this water, the high priestess. To transform from the hangman to the high priestess and the king of wands, whether you're male or female, like, um, some of y'all are like ghosting somebody or somebody's being ghosted here. I don't know why I'm picking up on something about like you finding out or some, like someone is at a party or something like that. Um, I'm getting heavy, heavy reconciliation. Like there could be a Pisces, a Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius wanting to reconcile with a lot of you guys. Okay. Yeah. Ten of cups, ten of wands, six of wands. It's something that you're contributing to though. Okay, there's something that you're doing, something that you're contributing to, and it's like it's working for somebody else. It's making someone else happy. It feels like you've been sacrificing yourself, okay? Sacrificing, taking care of yourself, going out, I don't know, you know, buying yourself certain things, your happiness, your mental health, whatever it is, it's like you've been sacrificing it. The number 10 is showing up here uh, twice, so uh, 10 could be significant, 20 could be significant. Uh, it's been a long time that you've been involved with something or in a certain type of energy. Um, and I feel like 
it's like you're realizing it was to like make other people happy or it was benefiting someone else or everyone else but you but it's a, it's an end to that this weekend okay there's some sort of burden that's being put down here and it's a victory a success for you it's make you a lot more happier the sun card the strength card the devil yeah like you're getting over whatever this devil is whoever whatever it is for you so um, it's a really good energy. It feels like life changing and that might be a little dramatic for, you know, uh, certain people watching this. Um, but even if you don't know something is, is that deep right now, it doesn't feel that deep right now. It doesn't feel like it's that beneficial, uh, beneficial or transformative right now. I feel like you'll start to see, I don't know, you'll start to see, um, how much of a change, how much something is worth it or was worth it. So, I'm going to leave it here. Be safe this weekend. Leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon.